Ong Kwe Chok. Please be seated. Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. Ong Yum Yum Ra. The court is now in session. L'audience est ouverte. Today, the chamber will continue to hear the testimony of uh, the expert Elizabeth Becker. Entendra la suite de la déposition and de l'expert Elizabeth Becker. Today, Sa déposition prendra fin aujourd'hui comme prévu. Madame Sekolvoti, could you report Madame the attendance of the parties and individuals to today's proceedings? À l'audience. Good morning, Mr. President. For Bonjour, today's Monsieur proceedings, all parties to this case are present. Present. Except Mr. Uh, Van Per, the Maître designated Peu, lawyer for civil parties, who is absent this morning civils. due to personal commitment, and he will be available this afternoon. Il Ms. Sera Elizabeth Becker is already Madame in the Elizabeth courtroom, Becker and there is no reserved witness today. Il a pas Thank you. De témoins de réserve pour aujourd'hui. President, thank you. Le président, merci. And before I hand the floor to the uh, defense teams to continue la parole putting va être questions to this à la défense expert, pour continuer à interroger l'experte. I'd like to hand the floor to Mais the judge Lavergne. Mais avant cela, la parole est donnée au juge Lavergne. To clarify certain issues uh, with the expert and Judge Lavergne, you have the floor. Je vous en prie, Monsieur le juge Lavergne. Merci, Monsieur le Président. En fait, je Thank ne suis you, pas sûr Mr. que je vais President. apporter In des fact, éclaircissements. Je pense que je suis plutôt en demander à Madame Becker. Madame Becker, euh, au cours de l'audience hier et d'avant-hier, nous avons, euh, il a été fait état d'enregistrement de, 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 des interviews que vous avez conduites avec euh, Pol Pot, Yang Sari et Yang Tirit. Euh, nous avons recherché dans le dossier et nous avons effectivement retrouvé traces euh, d'enregistrement audio d'un certain nombre d'interviews. Traces of audio recordings um, et of some nous avons à la cote D28 R du dossier D21 des interviews R dont les titres sont Yang Sari Non Pen 1978, Yang Tirit, Pol Pot Dinner et Pol Pot Interview. Dinner and Pol Pot Vous avez euh, également été euh, destinataire d'un courrier que les co-juges d'instruction vous avaient adressé au mois d'août 2009 concernant précisément ces euh, interviews. Et vous y aviez répondu, euh, le courrier des co-juges d'instruction et votre lettre en réponse figurent également au dossier au code D28.1 et D28.2. Dans votre réponse, vous donnez un certain nombre d'indications. Cependant, si cela est possible, je pense que on vous remettra au cours de la pause de ce matin ou de la pause déjeuner. Euh, on vous permettra d'écouter en partie ces enregistrements audio afin que vous puissiez nous dire si effectivement ça correspond bien à ceux que vous avez adressés à la chambre. Et également, pour, euh, on vous posera ensuite peut-être quelques questions supplémentaires concernant les circonstances exact, savoir les dates précises auxquelles euh, ces interviews ont lieu. Voilà, donc euh, pour l'instant, c'est juste une information. So for the donc, time being, this is soit ce matin, soit à l'heure de la pause déjeuner, vous aurez you. la possibilité so d'écouter ces enregistrements break, euh, qui, euh, euh, dans lesquels on, on entend effectivement la voix de in those recordings, we Yang hear the voices of uh, Pol Pot, Yen Siri, and Yen Tiri. That may be very voilà. interesting que pour for the chamber. Let me point out that for the time being, we do not have any transcripts of those interviews. President, uh, thank you, uh, Judge Lavergne. President, merci, Judge Lavergne. And before I hand the floor, La parole va être cédée à la Défense. 
the Chimbabwe would like to remind the cela, defense teams that rappel. Uh, during your questioning session, please leave a sufficient pause between the question and the answer session entre chaque as it has been requested by the interpreters. Suivante. C'est ce qu'ont demandé les interprètes. And just leave enough uh, pause and probably you can also observe the time that the uh, microphone for the expert is uh, triggered. Vérifiez aussi and I line now to si le hand the floor to the defense team. Est allumé. La parole est donnée à la défense. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Good Merci morning, Your Honours. Good morning, Council. Um, Mr. President, before Monsieur le Président, I continue my questioning uh, to the expert. Um, my client has informed us that Mon he has uh, two follow-up questions il avait deux questions de suivi um, relating to answers provided by the expert yesterday. Des réponses uh, so, par um, before I continue, I would like to ask your permission that the uh, Chief asks the questions that he has, the two questions that he has uh, to the expert. Poser ces deux would that be possible? Serait-ce possible? President, yes, uh, Le président, the chamber uh, allows him to do so. And uh, Mr. Nuntier, do you have the floor? Nuntier. Good morning, my compatriots. Chers compatriotes, bonjour. Good morning, Mr. President, bonjour, and good morning, Your Honours. Mesdames et Messieurs les juges. And good morning, Madame Expert. Bonjour, Madame l'expert. I would like to put two questions to you. J'aimerais vous poser des questions. One. Tout d'abord. The United States government. Le gouvernement des États-Unis. Engaged in the interference and came to invade Cambodia in particular for the period from 1970 to 1973. It engaged in bombardment for 200, and 200 days and nights, totaling about three tons of bombs. And as a result, many innocent Cambodian people died and the destruction de cela, of the de houses, chez les rice fields, and les pagodas. Pagodes, les rizières ont été détruites. And I'd like you, the expert, to give us the reason for that bombardment. And that is my first question, and I'd like you to respond before I proceed with my second question. President Le and uh, Madame, Madame Expert, expert please respond à la to uh, the question Nunchir. put to you by uh, Mr. Nunchir. Um, thank you. L'expert. The reason Merci. the United States government si gave le for le gouvernement um, the bomb, a bombing in general was supporting the Khmer Republic. General, um, as you know, the, um, after the coup d'état in 1970, the United States took over les États -Unis full support of the Khmer Republic's military se sont mis à soutenir pleinement les campagnes militaires du gouvernement de la République Khmer ainsi que le gouvernement lui-même. Quand vous parlez de bombardement, je suppose que ce sont des bombardements aériens. Vous avez cité un certain nombre de jours, je pense, que vous faisiez allusion à l'intense campagne de bombardement de 1973. The fear at that stage of one that the Khmer Republic would lose, and two, de la Khmer, uh, the belief by then um, the, the administration of Richard Nixon, Nixon that by bombing the Khmer Rouge would come to the negotiation table. 
les Khmer Rouges point, allaient venir um, à la table des négociations. Les accords de Paris avaient été signés avec Vietnam, le Vietnam, avec le Vietnam and du Laos Nord à l'époque. Le Laos aussi and the whole avait conclu force un accord. Of the was et to end the American la politique américaine visait à mettre un terme à l'implication américaine pour que les troupes américaines puissent so se retirer. Belief, and I'm, I'm only telling you what the United States government Je believed and why they said they were doing this les was to entice the Khmer Rouge to the negotiation table. That failed. And the United States Congress, because They did not want any more reports le Congrès américain of innocent Cambodian ne voulait plus de rapports sur les morts d'innocents cambodgiens, les dégâts des rizières et donc une loi a été adoptée pour mettre un terme au bombardement de la ville de Saint-Exupéry. Le bombardement s'est confirmé par la Cour suprême et en 1973, cela a été confirmé et les bombardements américains au Cambodge ont cessé. It was. Some no no um, no no Is it your opinion that the United States government shall be responsible for the tragedy that it inflicted upon the Cambodian people? Imposé au peuple Or, cambodien. Is it because it is a powerful country, it can go and invade any smaller countries at its own discretion? Parce s'agit d'une grande puissance, and elle that's peut all. Thank you. Merci. President Le and uh, Madame Expert, please respond Madame to the uh, question by the accused. Thank you. The, is the United States responsible for the tragedy involved in the destruction de la of material and, de la and human beings who were killed during the bombing? Of course. And, and that continues to be a debate. And le in fact, just a couple of weeks ago, continue. when Mr. Henry Kissinger was testifying before um, a, a committee in Congress, committee some American Congrès citizens tried to do a citizen a arrest of him. It's an ongoing question, and it's a very live question. Le débat est Can the United States invade any Small Les États-Unis peuvent-ils no. envahir n'importe no. quel petit pays Non. Le droit international dit que non. Um. Thank you, Mr. President, for allowing uh, Nunez to ask Monsieur these President two questions. Merci, Monsieur le Président, d'avoir laissé mon client poser ces um, questions. Good morning, Ms. Becker. Bonjour, Madame Becker. I will Becker. follow up with some questions um, relating to your answers yesterday. J'ai à mon tour des questions liées aux réponses données hier. Um, I would like to uh, revisit uh, one topic and then Revenons a special part of one topic. Revenons sur un thème pour aborder ensuite un autre. And that's the answer that you gave uh, to me. Um, Regarding Ted Sambat, uh, you, you remember that I read to you uh, two quotes from Northwest Zone Padres from his book. De son livre, qui sont des And at one point de la zone um, du in time, in answering uh, your questions, uh, my questions, you said, uh, well, we should take um, Ted Sambat with a bit salt qu'il fallait prendre avec des pincettes a grain of salt sorry that was the expression ce que rapporte um, tête sambat to be honest uh, that answer pour être honnête um, surprised me a bit and I, I, I did some thinking about it last night and I also um, looked soir. on the internet um, in relation to your answer that you actually had nominated him uh, for his documentary uh, Enemies of the People and um, I believe if I'm mistaken please tell me it is was the, the Night International the Journalism Award that he, le prix uh, he won international a and uh, in relation to that award, you are quoted par à ce prix, uh, as follows, and please tell me if that is correct. Si uh, Sambat has accomplished Sambat the equivalent of a miracle. A rien moins um, un miracle. Nothing else like Enemies of the People exists in broadcast journalism. End of quote. Did you, in fact, uh, say that to um, uh, 
the world. Journalisme. Avez-vous affirmé cela? Oh, absolutely. Réponse. That's why I mentioned it yesterday. Exactement. And I didn't say Ted dit, Sambat per se should be taken with a grain of salt. I said the testimony of two cadres should be taken with a grain of salt. Grain of salt. Mais bien le témoignage de deux cadres. In fact, I was um, on Ted Sambat. Particularly, what was unusual was that he filmed former cadres demonstrating how they killed qui um, la façon during the purchase in Democratic Kampuchea. Au cours des and I have never seen that before since. But then I'm still um, not sure if I understand why these two particular cadres that I, that I quoted, why their statements should be taken with a grain of salt. Why their statements should be taken with a grain of salt. Um, with some grain of salt. What, what is your reason to say that? Nous conduire à prendre leur déclaration avec un grain de sel. Pourquoi avez-vous dit cela? I'll repeat again. Um, all of us Réponse. researchers Je have looked through the files. Tous les We've combed them. There's not been any other testimony like that except the officials who are rationalizing what they did. Il n'y a que des responsables qui ont rationalisé ce qu'ils avaient fait. Two people out of all those years of researchers, it's the evidence is overwhelming the other way. Recherche, or il n'y a que deux personnes qui affirment cela. Donc tous les signes tendent dans la direction contraire. One or two paragraphes from a very recent filing that we made or that we did. It's not on the interface, but I will be slow in identifying it. It's a filing of our team déposé par notre équipe le 26 janvier 2015. Il a le document E335-1. Je donne les URN nommés. 010-57-505 en Khmer. Sorry, 010... 57510 010 57 510 et 511 Ce que je veux vous présenter pour vous est des extraits d'une interview accordée par Ted Sambat durant la semaine qui a suivi le prononcé du jugement en mai 2014. Il a en effet accordé un entretien à the interview was on Cambodian radio on 13th and 14th of August, and he said, and I quote the following. Those who initiated and caused starvation, arrest, and execution Um, des arrestations exécutions et qui ont provoqué Munchia la famine Pol Pol regime, sous le régime de Pol Pot Pol ces gens-là vivent encore in the et ils sont au gouvernement. Lower ranked leaders acted excessively les chefs subalternes ont commis des excès la plupart des subalternes ont secrètement trahi Pol Pot et Nguyen et ceux qui se sont opposés à eux et ceux qui Mr. peuvent Ted en Sambat parler spoken, and I quote again, des really gens avec qui Monsieur Sambat s'était entretenu, mais si j'ai dit à nouveau, ils veulent vraiment s'exprimer, mais ils veulent pour leur testify. sécurité et veulent des garanties de sécurité and then, pour pouvoir third quote, parler. Um, Ensuite, une autre citation, film, il s'agit uh, du deuxième film documentaire says, de Sambat, et je vais citer, « illustrate a conflict called the secret civil war in the Khmer Rouge regime and what was behind those killings. » Ce film illustre un conflit qui est appelé la guerre civile secrète sous les Khmer Rouges et so, les raisons um, sous-jacentes des exécutions. Uh, hopefully, Mr. Ted Sambat will be testifying uh, before this court soon. Il est espéré que Ted Sambat sera uh, bientôt entendu par la Chambre. Il s'est dit qu'il allait le faire. Be uh, based on his, uh, et sur le fondement year research, de ses recherches qui ont duré 10 ans, more or less what I put to il you semble that there was in fact um, a civil war almost immediately after uh, 75 between two opposing factions. Opposant um, factions and I would like opposées. to have uh, your reaction Et to uh, these quotes. Votre réaction après la lecture de ces citations. 
Madame Expert, please wait. And the international co-prosecutor, do you have the floor? Your Honor, what Defense Counsel has done is read very small portions of a large book by Tet Sambat, and then given his view, which is not supported in my opinion by the book, about the crimes of democratic Kampuchea and who's responsible. Reading the book of Tet Samba, what he makes it clear is that Nguyen Chia is responsible and has acknowledged responsibility for the purges and the killings in, uh, of people in democratic Kampuchea. So putting a small portion of a book and not the entirety to the witness, uh, I think is, is unfair and not helpful to the truth-finding process. Mr. President, um, I'd be very happy to read the complete interview. I'd be very happy to read other passages from the book, but I don't think in relation, in respect of time, that would be helpful. I think uh, Ted Sambat and also Rob Lemkin, by the way, are very clear um, in their views based on their research that there was, in fact, a civil war between two possibly equally strong factions. And I think the expert uh, is perfectly capable of answering uh, or again reacting to that uh, proposition. I, I would kindly ask Your Honor to counsel to find one passage in the book where Tetsambat says that during the DK regime there was a civil war ongoing. The book is, La Défense. as we all know, the book is based on the documentary Comme Enemies le, of the People. Le, le tous, we also know that Tetsambat, together with Lemkin, was very busy with et making a second documentary film. Et and the question, uh, the central question in that second, uh, that second film, which is still to be released, Ce is exactly this uh, proposition. Um, so, uh, but I'm not quoting from the book, I'm quoting from uh, what he said very recently uh, in an interview to ZOA uh, Radio. So I think I'm entitled to ask that question. Le Président, the Chamber would like to hand the floor to Judge Friends la Chambre donne la parole to uh, clarify uh, this issue. Apporte quelques précisions et éclaircissements. That is the objection by the prosecution to the question by non Judge Friends and Judge Friends. Uh, to have the floor. Vous avez la parole, Madame la Juge. The Chamber shares the prosecution's concern about what appears to be a pattern of, let's say, selectively representing or misrepresenting documents and asking um, witnesses, experts, etc., to comment on it. For this reason, we allowed the question, which was, do you think there was a civil war? 
pretty soon after 75 in the country, that you're not required to comment on other arguably selective excerpts put to you by council. Please answer the question. <laughs> My thing. Um, the answer is no. It's the same answer as yesterday. No, je réponds par la négative comme je l'ai fait hier. Very well. Um, I would like then la défense. Um, Merci. to take you to another document, um, document which we discussed briefly yesterday, and that is um, uh, the report uh, made by uh, Geng Biao, Mr. President. Um, that is, Monsieur as said yesterday, document E307-521, as a matter of fact, yesterday I saw that there is a full Khmer translation uh, of this document. Um, that is for, this, for the benefit of the interpreters. Uh, there was some discussion yesterday about uh, the relevance of this report, and I, th I think I'll, I'll uh, briefly guide you through what, I, what we believe is highly, uh, high relevance of this document. Um, it says on, on the first page, that is ERN 01001620 in Khmer, 01063793. Uh, it's an editor's note. On, on January 16, 1979, Geng Biao, a member of the Chinese Communist Party Politburo and Secretary General of the CCP Military Commission, and currently elevated to the position of Vice Premier and Minister of Defense, delivered a report exclusively for internal use analyzing the situation in Indochina after the fall of the Pol Pot regime. Um, Geng Biao himself, uh, when addressing his comrades, he's, he's, he is quoted as follows, that's the same, that's the same page, the first page. Um, since the situation has changed very rapidly, to enable all leading cadres of various ministries and departments of the party central committee, the standing committee of the National People's Congress, the State Council, and the party central committee's military commission to have a clear understanding of the situation. <coughs> Chairman Hua, Hua Gofeng, has especially appointed me to make a simple report on the situation of Indochina to you on behalf of the Party Central Committee and to give a preliminary explanation of the Party Central Committee assessment of the situation as well as principles and policies to cope with as to avoid unconcerted action and possible difficulties in the future. So it's not um, uh, somebody's opinion, but it seems to be uh, uh, there seems to be strong proof of uh, that this document is a reflection of actual uh, the Chinese, the actual Cette Chinese perspective. Bien du fait que now, là, du point de yesterday I gave you a quote already um, from this document. I would like to take you now to uh, two or three more quotes from this document. Mr. President, that is um, English ERN 01001622, Khmer 01063796, and 79697. It's in the middle of the page, um, page 381 it says on top. In 1973, in order to remind the Cambodian leaders to maintain constant vigilance, Chairman Mao also told Sihanouk that Ho Chi Minh had talked with Chairman Mao about the establishment of an Indochina Federation. After 1974, Vietnamese troops coordinated with the revolutionary forces of Cambodia in various battles in Cambodia. Vietnam seized the opportunity to cultivate a group of pro-Vietnam Cambodian leaders. The seed of disaster was thus sown.
He then moves on to say, uh, and I quote again, on the other hand, there were too many factions among the Cambodian forces. Three main factions were formed at that time. The first faction, composed of Cambodian workers and peasants, and under the direct control of Pol Pot and Khieu Sampan, was the majority and the main force of the Liberation Army. The second faction consisted of the royal forces, faithful to Sihanouk and old patriotic officers, and men from Lom Nol's troops who turned against Lom Nol and joined the Liberation War. Members of this, factions, for this faction were not many, but all of them were well-trained allies of the Communist Party and sympathizers of the revolutionary cause. And then, importantly, of course, and I quote again, the third faction was the well-equipped pro-Vietnam group, consisting of quite a few members. And then he, uh, I move on to the next page. Uh, Mr. President, 01001623 ERN English, Khmer uh, 01063798. Excuse me. Can I please uh, uh, finish my question at least? Puis je terminer, poser ma question, s'il vous plaît. President, the international co prosecutor. Do you have the floor? Judge, the counsel, if I interrupted his question, I was just going to request that he read the last sentence of 381 that goes over to 382 in order to put this into context. Mr. President, did I interrupt um, the prosecution when he was selectively quoted in, her, in, in her interview? No. So I can read the whole thing, but I have limited time and I would like to go directly to the point. We all can read but Le président, Council Coupé, Maître Coupé, could you hand a set of documents to the expert so that he can follow your question and respond to your question appropriately? If you probably read only a part of the question, it will be difficult for the expert to respond. And I think in the past, uh, this kind of practice has been objected by the defense. Um, I'm, I'm very happy to, to give my uh, copy of this document to the expert. Um, it's a little colored, but um, I think also we put this document, uh, we referenced it in our email, and I think it was sent to you. Uh, I'll be happy to give you my uh, copy. And uh, Ms. Baker, can you actually uh, view the uh, documents that the defense has? If that is the case, then uh, please deliver your own copy for her so she can also uh, notice the highlighted portions of your question.
Did you also read the next page where it says uh, 4,000? La défense. Puis je passais à la page suivante, là où l'on voit qu'il y a marqué 4,000 personnes. Yes. L'expert, oui. The report um, la défense. is no doubt critical of the way certain things were handled in, in, in the UK. Yeah. But nevertheless, notwithstanding that criticism, um, the Chinese uh, authorities, the Chinese Communist Party, clearly distinguishes three factions. Um, and uh, indicating that the Vietnamese backed faction consisted of 4,000 um, uh, cadres. In the light of um, the civil war, uh, as, as, as cited by Tetsun, but does that change your position or would you be able to react on this uh, document when it comes to uh, the distinguishing of those three factions within the Khmer Rouge? I'm going to put aside Ted Sambat because I've already told you I admired his movie. The movie does in no way has this civil war. So that's the end. So I think I've answered that question. Now, this document that I, yes, I did read, but I should let you know that I can't bring my computer in and read it on the screen. So that's why I've asked you for the document and thank you for giving it to me. I appreciate it. Um, this very much reflects the China, this reflects what the DK has told China. There's no question about that. And I find, I, what I, when reading it before and I read it now, um, the first time, if you remember correctly, the first time that um, DK did have a purge of Cambodians who were in Vietnam were the ones who came, who had settled in North Vietnam after the Paris Peace Accords of 1954-55. And so they, that was the first real purge. Now, here, the, the, this supposedly there's n there was no actual physical evidence of, of um, Khmer Rouge DK troops with Lam Nol remnants forced in the West. In fact, the people who eventually fled DK and became the front for the Vietnamese invasion and occupation were the other side of the country in the East. So there's, there's a lot of internal contradictions in this. So does this accurately really reflect what DK said to China and China's reactions to what DK had done? I think it does. It does accurately reflect. But that's one, that's, that's not, of course, what research says. Thank you for your answer. Um, what makes you say that this is, that the source of this information um, is only DK and not uh, China's own intelligence. As you know, we discussed that briefly. China had many people uh, within DK and had a most likely very good intelligence position within, within DK. Why, why, what makes you say that it is only DK feeding the Chinese and not China, China having its own intelligence position and reaching that conclusion? Because, um, as I wrote in my book, the Chinese told me they were hamstrung. They did not have freedom of movement. That they, in fact, I quote the, one of the top Chinese diplomats as saying they were hamstrung. They did not have good intelligence. And as I, I pointed out, there's been a recently new book by Andrew Murtha going into at length the fact that the Chinese did not have the kinds of movement or intelligence they wanted. So that's why I said that. There's no reason to go into discussion about that book. I, re I read that book, of course, as well, and he just spoke to some lower-ranking uh, Chinese cadre, so I'm not quite sure if I agree with that. However, um, um, setting aside the Geng Bia report, um, you and I think uh, especially Ben Keenan is um, writing extensively about um, attempts um, to, uh, to bomb the country, Siem Reap, um, sabotage attempts, uh, coup d'etats, uh, attempts to coup d'etats, uh, possibly poison attempts, attempts to poison Pol Pot and Nguyen Chia. Um, would it not seem that in 
connection with that evidence, there was indeed donné um, ces preuves, an opposing faction from the very beginning trying to sabotage y avait une faction um, qui et qui the, de the Pol Pot faction. De nuire à la faction de Pol Pot. Could you please read Réponse. where I said that? No, I'm not saying that you said that, but I'm, I'm, I'm saying that you also, um, especially Ben Keenan, is writing about um, the, the, the bomb attack, uh, 30 people got killed in the Siem Reap in 1976. Uh, in confessions, there are um, uh, stories about Dans les aveux, il y a attempts to poison Pol Pot in Nunchia. There are all kinds of other secondary evidence indicating that there were plots to overthrow Pol Pot in Nunchia. The international legal lawyer for civil parties, you have the floor. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Comme je l'ai dit hier, pour que les parties puissent suivre, il faut que le Conseil nous permette de comprendre ce qui se passe. Il cite les travaux de Ben Kiernan sans nous orienter vers quels travaux en particulier. Il nous parle de confessions sans nous dire lesquelles. Donc, dans cette salle, sauf preuve du contraire, l'expert est Mme Baker et M. Coppet, avocat. Donc, nous aimerions que notre confrère arrête de nous témoigner sur ce qui se passe. Donc, nous aimerions que notre confrère arrête de nous témoigner sur ce qui se passe. Donc, nous aimerions que notre confrère arrête de nous témoigner sur ce qui se passe. Donc, nous aimerions que notre confrère arrête de nous témoigner sur ce qui se passe. Donc, nous aimerions que notre confrère arrête de nous témoigner sur ce qui se passe. Donc, nous aimerions que notre confrère arrête de nous that he puts Merci. questions to uh, that allow the parties to follow the proceedings. Thank you. Mr. President, it would be really helpful if the civil party lawyer Maître knows a little bit Monsieur about this case. She objected yesterday about um, um, uh, me quoting Poncho and, and Vickery, and now she's again um, contesting very basic information that, that, that everyone can read in Keenan, Header, anywhere. So it's, it's not that I'm asking something very truly. I'm asking something about what is widely described. Monsieur le Président, je, je demanderais Mr. simplement à notre confrère d'être courtois. C'est un principe qui est anormalement court dans une salle d'audience. Il ne s'agit pas de lire et de faire notre travail de notre côté. Nous sommes dans une salle d'audience, il y a des règles de procédure. Notre confrère nous a habitués depuis le début à systématiquement misrepresenter les preuves ici. Nous voulons simplement suivre les débats de manière loyale. Quand il cite Kiernan, je vous demande, Monsieur le Président, que vous lui demandiez de nous diriger vers les textes to ask him parle, to refer to the text that he's speaking about when he speaks about demande, confessions. I'm asking you, Mr. President, to tell our colleague to talk to, to indicate to demande. us which confession he is speaking about. That's all I'm asking for. President, the observation by the international lead co-lawyer for civil parties is appropriate. And uh, Council Coupe, Please uh, clearly refer to the uh, documents that uh, you used as a reference uh, in your uh, questioning to this expert. For the record, Mr. President, I'm interviewing, I'm cross-examining an expert, and I, I can trust, hopefully, that she has a basic knowledge of events uh, between 75 and 79, but I move on. Um, Ms. Becker, I would actually like to take you to an interview that you took with Interit, uh, and an interview that was um, discussed in relation to questions by the prosecution. Um, that is E3 slash 659, English ERN 00182322, Khmer 4117 and French 0074304748. It is page 25 of your, inter of, of your verbatim interview. Um, when the prosecution was reading this um, part of the interview to you, I think he was um, omitting an important piece of this interview, so I would like to revisit this passage. Um, 
At one point, Ingrid, and that's on the top of the page, Tout à fait en haut answers de la page, Ingrid répond à une question de la façon suivante. Yes, I was traveling in order to see the conditions of the people, and at the time when I came back in Phnom Penh, I reported to our leaders that there was something clear in some provinces. For example, in Batamban, I saw something very clear that they make people, all people going to the rice fields, very far from the village, and they have no home. And I saw they have no home and they are all ill. I reported to my leaders that you interrupt her uh, and then you ask Interit, who were your leaders? Who did you report to? And then she answers to your question to the Prime Minister. That's quite queer. It's not normal. There is something wrong in this. In fact, when they made inquiry, they saw that So Pim was an agent of the Vietnamese because he was an agent, ancient member of Indochina, Indochina Communist Party. You see, and at the time they joined in a new party. But when the Vietnamese, uh, Runim, Runim, Runim and Batambang, so Pim was in the east, he was in the northwestern region. It's a little incoherent, but that's what she says. Uh, you go back to her and you ask her, so this is 1976, there was a purge in 1977. And then she answers, at the time I told my leader there is something wrong in the province, because I know the directors of the prime minister, not young, not old people, not pregnant women, uh, not women feeding babies and not small children. But I saw everybody oh, there in the rice fields, in open air, air libre, nothing, and with the sun, very hot soleil, sun. I saw many people ill of diarrhea and malaria, so I reported it to him. Donc je en ai and then you ask, and what happened? Alors, et que and Interit answers, they made an inquiry, and et in the end, la suivante, in 1978, we, en en you say, nous, executed. Question mark. Et vous lui dites, vous exécuté, and then she answers, and that is the quote, um, no, we arrest him. Non, nous we know arrêté. that Runim was in big collision nous with So Pim in order to carry out the orders of Yun, in order to sabotage Yun, our policy and to massacre our people. So in this way, they can make people rise façon, against us because they don't know. Nous, people know only Pol Pot and they, know, they don't know Pol Pot this. They don't know. They know that this is an order of Pol Pot. They don't know that Pol Pot don't order all of them to go to the rice fields. It's to cause dissatisfaction among people. And then you say, essentially, you are saying that you were not in control. Now it would seem to me that, and correct me please, Ms. Becker, if I'm wrong, that uh, Interit is trying to say that she saw things in the Northwest uh, zone which were not in accordance with party guidelines, that she saw all kinds of uh, things happening that shouldn't be happening, that it was reported, and that it was apparently considered by Pol Pot and possibly others as uh, sabotaging the revolution and that they took the appropriate measures by finally arresting him and, of course, as you know, uh, executing him. The question to you is uh, what Interit says here, isn't that in Ce essence what um, Ted Sambat is saying as well, that there was a civil war going on and that the other Cela side was sabotaging uh, the, the, the policy Saboté. Again, if you Paul please, Pot I don't know what this Ted Sambat, can we just forget this? Yes, forget Ted Sambat. Um, this, is, this is the rationalization, and I will step back a minute and explain how this looked. This is, this is after they've been overthrown. This is later. She's talking to me. There, what, what hasn't come out, I think, in the questioning is the sheer incompetence of Democratic Compachia. You can have all kinds of directives, but you see in all kinds of reports, materials weren't sent, people didn't inter in, in understand directives. You have illiterate cadre who are supposed to read 
read reports, it's the incompetence cannot be stressed too much. So this is an example, I think, one of the incompetence, and two of um, uh, with incompetence, the attempt to have a, when you have a country turned into an entire police state with open air labor camps, you're going to have problems of control. And so I think this, this, this wasn't surprising to me. Um, you, you know, it, now in the 21st century, you immediately think of North Korea or something like that with similar kinds of attempts, and you have these huge problems. And I thought um, it was, it was um, something of her to admit to this. So one of the reasons I used the interview. Thank you for your answer, Ms. Becker. Um, Madame Becker. I have some, uh, some, some smaller follow-up questions. Um, what can you tell us about the phenomenon in the UK called uh, the Workers' Party? Du parti des travailleurs. Can you be more specific, please? Does the name, the etiquette Workers' Party uh, mean something to you in context of uh, DK? Veut dire quelque chose dans le contexte du Campuchia démocratique? In, there are many different contexts. I, I, I'm, not, I'm still not sure. It could mean many things. It's like asking me about the um, you know, Vietnam after 1975. Um, do you know if in confessions and in uh, the black paper and in other DK documents, um, the suggestion was put forward that um, the other faction um, in fact, had um, its own party uh, called the Workers' Party. Avait leur propre parti qui portait le nom du parti des travailleurs. Yes, that's true. Réponse. Oui, Is there anything exact. else that you can t tell us about this? La défense. Pourriez-vous nous, pourriez nous en dire davantage? Um, it's the theme that you see, particularly after 1977, in particular. C'est quelque chose qui revient and, beaucoup um, uh, the après 1977. Um, large-scale purges of cadre and their family. Is it, is it your opinion that there was no such thing as um, a, a party next to the CPK called the Workers' Party? Donc, il y avait un deuxième parti à côté du parti principal. You mean a secret party operating during DK? Vous parlez d'un um, parti secret no, I, I, qui aurait I did not see proof of that, no. agi Thank Thank you. You. Um, another question, does the name Hei Sao mean something to you? Thank you. Um, just like that, I can't Expert. think, no. Can you Comme remind ça, me? Brille pour point, non. -vous me donner davantage um, Yes, it seems he was a high-ranking um, oui, uh, Vietnamese communist operating in DK, supposedly having contact on behalf of Vietnam, Vietnam with um, Sao Pim and uh, Rune. Rune. Does that ring a bell? Uh, no. Um, I'm looking at the clock. Um, my national colleague has uh, some more questions, uh, so I would like to give the floor to you. Thank you, Mr. Baker. Je vous remercie, Madame Baker. President, thank you. And Councillor Soumissan, you have the floor. Maître Soumissan, vous avez la parole. Soumissan, thank you, Mr. President. And Maître good Soumissan. morning. Ms. Elizabeth Baker. Madame Baker, bonjour. I only have uh, some uh, questions uh, to uh, put to you, and it will take only about 20 minutes. Cela ne pas plus de 20 minutes. When you came to Cambodia in 1978, how long did you stay in Cambodia? Two, two weeks. Two weeks. During the two-week period, Pendant can you uh, tell the court the important places that you were visited? 
en quel euh, lieu important vous vous êtes rendu uh, we went réponse um, east nous sommes allés à l'est kampong cham kampong cham um, up to the border jusqu'à la frontière we went to the northwest nous sommes allés au nord-ouest siem reap atambang atambang uh, went through kandal down to nous um, uh, jusqu'à sianoukville back et nous sommes revenus. And then, of course, many places in Phnom Penh. Et puis, bien sûr, nous avons visité plusieurs lieux à Phnom Penh. For each place that you Question. visited, can you uh, tell us if you recall whom did you uh, uh, interview? Pour si vous vous souvenez des personnes avec qui vous vous êtes entretenu à chaque fois. I'm afraid my memory is not that good. It's all in my book, and I would have to. I don't. I, I, ma mémoire. Know, um, I'm not going to bore you with reading it, but um, the major people I did include in the book. Did you want me to read it to you? Dans mon livre. Vous voulez que je vous en donne lecture? Uh, thank you. In fact, I have read en fait, your uh, book. My point is, during this short stay visit, you would uh, have recalled the, the most important interviews uh, that you engaged in. Des entretiens les plus For example, que vous whether conduit. your trip's purpose was to uh, concentrate on the condition in the cooperative Par or, exemple, or something like that. Lorsque vous avez interrogé Yes, that was one of the themes. Um, oui, the, the condition of the, um, of the uh, living conditions, uh, the military the military situation. situation um, uh, up north in the northwest, it was nord, uh, uh, rice experimentations. Posé des questions um, sur, uh, some of the fishing issues around the Great Lake, Ton Les Sap. Um, down uh, south Sap, in, um, in the port in Sihanoukville, it was exporting to Je Singapore and, and I believe Hong Kong, Singapore some rice. Hong Kong, as I said, um, on the border with Commander Pin, the, the, the possibility of Cambodia um, uh, holding back Vietnam on the border. La so th th those were the major. And then in Phnom Penh, of course, were more policy. Et and Penh, again, um, the major interviews were with um, Foreign Minister Yang Sari uh, and with Prime Minister Pol Pot. Et Pol Pot. At that time, did you uh, yourself go uh, alone on your own, or were you always escorted within the delegate? Um, I, three times, I went on my own. Um, I three times, I believe, three or four times, I went on my own in Phnom Penh. Um, when it was discovered that I was going on my own, uh, the, the guest house was locked. Otherwise, and on one of those trips, uh, the two other, uh, Richard Dudman and Malcolm Caldwell, with me, were with me. But this was walking around Phnom Penh. Otherwise, and everything else, we were, um, we were with, generally, two in process, um, several armed guards. Question. When you were alone or, uh, amongst your team without the armed guards, quand vous étiez what seul kind of quand vous étiez information avec les autres you considered de important mais from avait pas de the encountering armée, with other people during a such time? Quelles informations souhaitiez-vous recueillir? Uh, it was very short because the, um, Ça a été très court. Uh, one of the guards would come and find me, so I never was able to go and come back. Um, and what was important was, um, in fact, that I didn't find many people. The, the city was very empty. Um, I, uh, the important information was what I saw. I saw, for instance, I walked past the central market. It was empty. The life that I knew there, of people meeting vide. there, having coffee, scènes, exchanging gossip, buying things, empty, nothing. Uh, the, 
the vides. parks, Rien there were no tout. children playing, Dans nothing. Parcs, Schools were empty, jouaient, no students. Vides, there was, um, there was no life. And in some of the side streets, in fact, I saw buildings that were falling apart um, and used as warehouses. So it was a, there was behind the facade of the beautiful you know, Manivan or Nordon. I saw it at the beautiful facade, I saw the ville était décrépite. So much. Question. Thank you. I'd like to ask you. Uh, Another question in relation question to the, uh, the killing of one of your uh, team members. Can you provide a little bit of further detail regarding that incident? I Réponse. Um, if you you wish you you want me to pick up from what Vous I was saying the last two days. Um, I gave a, 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 my personal account. Um, it is, version I can't say that without a little bit of difficulty, so I would like you to tell me what details you would like. I'd like to, to uh, tell the a court regarding the incidents that happened on that day, Je for example, what happened during the daytime, the president interrupted. De ce jour -là, en particulier, j'aimerais savoir ce qui s'est passé pendant la journée. Le président, maître, l'expert a déjà apporté ces précisions. Votre question est répétitive. Si vous voulez des précisions, Concernant la chronologie des faits, vous voulez être plus précis. Votre question est répétitive. Elle n'est pas autorisée. Council, uh, thank you, Mr. President. La défense. Merci, Monsieur le Président. When you saw the guard before he, he, uh, he vous avez fired or he, he shot uh, your, your team. Uh, avant qu'il ne tire sur ce membre de votre équipe. Uh, recall the specific physical appearance of uh, that individual when à quoi that person il came to knock on your door? Quand il est venu frapper à votre porte. Uh, this is after réponse. Malcolm has been killed, right? Ça, après You're talking de about that the, the guard who came parlez, to, to rescue me. Qui est venu me porter secours? Mon uh, no, uh, la défense. I meant before non. he had been killed. Je parle de la période qui a précédé son assassinat. So at the very beginning, I will, I will begin at the beginning is Donc, what you would, I'm, I'm presuming that's what you want. Début, he did not knock on my door. What happened was, um, it was late, um, we were all asleep, tard, nous tous and en train um, you know, in democratic Campuchia, there are no Donc, phones, there no, you're completely isolated, On dark, isolé, and um, I was woken up by strange noises, and in my dreams, as I was waking up, I thought I heard garbage cans or some sort of loud noise and that I was back in Washington, D.C. in my apartment. Le bruit and then I, written, I woke up and I said, of course not. I'm in Phnom Penh in Democratic Kampuchea. I had never seen a garbage can. And then I, I pulled on my Arbure. jeans and then I left Je the bedroom. I was, on the, I was on the ground Je floor. Habillé, I was the only woman. I was on the ground la... floor. I walked from my bedroom into the foyer and um, as I was uh, arriving right in the center of the room from the door, pièce, um, the outside door coming in, after hearing porte, gunshots and smelling the cordite, in comes a, a fellow feu, with um, ammunition across his chest. He, he's wearing um, you know, dark clothes, but he has a different kind of baseball cap -y kind of thing on, very combined, um, and um, I said no in English and in Khmer. He had Khmer, the pistol pointing at me, and I ran et back into my room, dans ma chambre and um, he did not follow me. Il ne pas he, uh, suivi. 
he, um, he uh, went up to the second floor. Il est allé au and étage. as I said, um, I, um, je dit, I hid in the bathtub on my caché stomach, which is what you learn as a war correspondent. It's the only natural fortress. Comme I heard him run up the stairs because the bathtub naturelle. was under the stairs. Then I heard many gunshots. And um, la after that, I did not see him until much later, hours later, when we were... Um, and I, I went through that before, and I didn't see him again until parlé, um, we were taken up je to Malcolm's bedroom, and Malcolm's, Malcolm's body was there, and le corps his de body was était là. there as well. He was dead. Et le corps du garde aussi gisait. Il était mort. The After that incident, Question. and as you stated uh, earlier, Ying Sari uh, said that Vous dites après cet incident, the one who committed the, the killing was a Vietnamese, and la some guards were arrested as a result. Did you see the guards who were arrested pu in order to uh, compare their physical appearance to uh, those people who involved in the gunshots? Pu voir what I know about the people arrested were um, contained in um, documents from Tool Slang, and the names of those guards Slang, were stewards. They were identified arrêtés. as stewards who were um, in charge of helping us, the people who helped um, take care of our, um, our daily needs. Gens qui, uh, à nos au quotidien. Question. Based on your personal conclusion, was the killing arranged or organized by vous, Pol Pot, cet or was it organized par Pol by uh, somebody else? Ou par, uh, Réponse. Um, I have, as you can imagine, I've looked into this quite a bit. Um, J'ai beaucoup réfléchi and, à la question. Um, I, I do not pretend to know who Je did this. Um, internal documents faits, and my own personal eyewitness having internes, gone through it is that it was within the Democratic Capuchia and um, I do not see. Um, I, but I, beyond that, I can't say. When your um, fellow prosecutor, uh, defense cela, lawyer asked me, votre de la I said, if, if you force me to give an answer, si I would say répondre, it would be. Là, dirais, um, someone within Democratic Compachia who was unhappy with the Yangtzeries opening up the country to us non-friendly delegation foreigners, which was all part of, as I said earlier, the invitation to Secretary General Kurt Waldheim and then to um, foreign journalists like Mr. Dudman and myself. Kurt Waldheim and then Mr. Dudman, Caldwell and myself. Thank you. Question. I'd like now to move on to another topic Thème that suivant. is on the administrative structure of a leadership of the Democratic Kampuchea at the time. Et la Who were the de senior leaders or officers of the DK at the time of your visit? Who were the senior leaders or officers of the DK at the time of your visit? You mean Pol Pot Nunchea? Pol Pot. Son Sen Vorn Vet, Kusampan. Question. Could you uh, provide a little bit further details? Uh, so, upon your arrival in Cambodia, who were the people Quand or members of the cabinet or of the ministers of the DK? Dans le pays, qui étaient les membres du gouvernement uh, du pays? The, the, the entire leadership. Que je cite, uh, um, des sure, just a second, please. D'accord, laissez-moi un um, As I said, Pol Pot was dit, the Pol Pot number one, number two was Nguyen Chia, deux, Nguyen Chia. Vorn Vet, Vorn Vet. Q Sampan. Q Sampan. Um, if you don't mind, I mean, it's, uh, my memory is not brilliant, okay? Je n'ai pas une excellente mémoire. Mm.
did you want me to specifically talk about? Kim Jong. I'd like you to give us uh, some names as to who were in charge, for example, uh, what was the, the roles and functions of Pol Pot, Yensari, or Nunti at the time de Pol Pot, of your Yensari, visit, Nunti, par exemple, lors de votre visite. so that I uh, can put the follow-up uh, questions to Ensuite, your response. Questions à poser. Um, réponse. Pol Pot was the general secretary. Pot était le secrétaire général. He was the prime minister and he was charge of the country. Nguyen Chia was his number two. Yang Suri was the foreign minister. Yang Suri était le ministre des Affaires étrangères. Um, I, I would have a hard time going through the whole thing of the United States. Uh, do you want to ask me a question, please? I'm sorry, but... Thank you. Question. What was uh, Nunchi's function within the government uh, besides uh, uh, the, the party structure? Et je ne parle pas ici des structures du parti. Boy, um, economic. Réponse. L'économie. Charge of the economy. Sans aucun doute. President, le the président. time is appropriate for a short break. Le moment est venu d'observer une pause. And counsel, please try to make it your questions as brief Maître, and precise as possible. And try to avoid uh, repetitious possible, questions. En évitant les répétitions, we take a break now and return at 10.30. 10 and court officer, please Michel assist the, the expert during the break. Pendant la pause. And have a return to the uh, courtroom. Pour la reprise des débats à 10h30. The court is now in Suspension recess. de l'audience.